Manukian, and I donated a kidney to my best friend um, in October of 2016. Uh, I knew Clay was going to need a kidney about four years earlier when he told my wife Holly and I that uh, he had polycystic kidney disease and that his kidney function was already pretty low for somebody who was only in his early 40s. But we hoped at that point it'd be a good 10 or 15 years before he needed one. Then in January of 2016, he walked into the hospital and discovered his function was down to like 4%. And things moved very quickly. By April, I think he was on the list for potential donors. And I was the first one to get my application in and start the process. Uh, I didn't know that they only really processed one person at a time, but that uh, made a lot of sense. Um, the donor matching process was very informative. Basically, it's extraordinarily thorough. You talk to doctors, specialists, social workers. They really prepare you for everything, both in terms of the physical process and the emotional process that you're going to go through before, during, and after the surgery. And every question I could have possibly asked, I got an answer, and every answer was more comforting than the last. Every answer only made me more comfortable about uh, whether this was the right thing to do. The other thing they do is they constantly check in with you to make sure this is something you still want to do right up until the last minute, right up until the surgery itself. There's always the option of saying you need to wait or you need to not do it. Um, that wasn't an issue for me because I knew I wanted to do this. It was actually a very, very easy decision for me. Clay's my best friend. We do many, many things together. And I did not, wasn't willing to accept the possibility that he wouldn't get to live a complete life uh, just like he deserved. Um, when I made the decision to do it, I certainly didn't have all the information. The more I learned, the easier it got. Um, for instance, one of the most comforting things I learned was that uh, donating your kidney is really not particularly m more uh, complex or risky than a typical C-section. Um, so I think there's a lot of information like that that if people knew, they might be a lot more comfortable um, and a lot more willing to consider being a living donor. Um, my wife, Holly, was incredibly supportive. In fact, she probably would have been next in line if I hadn't been a match. My kids were 12 and 16, I think, when it happened, and uh, they thought it was no big deal. <laughs> um, my parents were a little more concerned. They supported it, but they were concerned. But I was able to answer any questions they had because I had been informed so well about what everything was going to involve. Um, maybe the most exciting moment in the process was finding out that Clay and I matched so well that we matched to a level that usually would only be true between brothers. Uh, that meant a lot to both of us. Probably the scariest time was the night before when even though there was nothing terrible that happened, I just really uh, was stuck thinking about it and wondering how it was all gonna go the next day and really dreading um, those last hours before the surgery the next morning. Then the next morning came and a real calm came over me and it was really not bad at all. Um, it was like my body sort of helped me out um, to make sure I got through it fine. And I did. It was uneventful. Um, recovery was hard. Recovery was hard. And uh, nothing bad happened. They were very clear about it, but I don't know if you can really be prepared for how much discomfort you're going to be in. But it was a lot of discomfort. Uh, for the first two days, you've got to have the air come out of you. Then after the real drugs wear off, you really feel where the kidney was removed from your back muscles. And I, in particular, felt a great deal of back pain. But I also knew that there was nothing bad happening. And after two weeks, I felt pretty back to normal. And since then, I have felt completely normal. I can't tell a difference between before and after. I have the same level of energy. I have the same uh, bodily functions. Um, it's really hard to believe a whole organ was removed from inside, and I can't even really tell the difference. Um, so I would tell uh, any living donor, first of all, I don't regret my decision at all. I'm so glad I did it. I would tell them that they're going to learn so much and everything they learn is only going to make them feel better about their decision. Um, 
a lot of people when they hear about when they talk to and find out that I've donated a kidney, they are incredibly appreciative and kind. Uh, and it's very humbling how much it seems to mean to people um, that you would do something like this, which is great because it wasn't a hard decision for me. And um, I hope that more and more people are willing to do it because it's an incredible thing to be able to do. Um, and I have no regrets at all. I'm really, really glad I did it. I'm doing great. Clay's doing great. Uh, and I look forward to going on a lot more road trips and seeing a lot more movies with my best friend. Thanks. The best advice I could give to somebody who is thinking about being a living donor is don't talk yourself out of at least starting the process. Um, you'll get a lot of really good information. Uh, they'll be so thorough with you. They'll answer any question you have. And every answer for me made things more comforting. Um, so I hope everybody's willing to do